Deli Minutes, nummer 1586, als ik goed tel, maar ik weet het niet helemaal zeker. Met een uitzending voor vandaag, 30 maart 2019, dus het bulletin van zaterdag. This bulletin will be largely in English. Uh, deze uitzending is grotendeels in het Engels. Na een weekje van veel uitval wegens ziekte en oververmoeidheid, ben ik er vandaag weer gewoon. Nou, een beetje, een beetje zwakjes nog, maar voor de rest gaat het goed. En ik ben weer bij stem. Um, vandaag is er in elk geval veel data. Ik begin met MFSK 32 op 1500 hertz met een stukje filosofie van de jaren 80. Daarna zend ik integraal de uitzending van Slow Scan Radio uit van afgelopen middag. Ik had eigenlijk shortwave radiogram willen opnemen zoals ik vaker doe. Maar zoals af en toe gebeurt was men in Bulgarije vanmiddag vergeten op 9400 kHz de zender aan te zetten. Dus die uitzending is niet in dit bruikbare tijdslot uitgezonden. Van Slow Scan Radio. Dit keer de studioopname. Dus qua QRM zal het vast wel meevallen. Deze uitzending begint eerst met een stukje MFSK 32 op 1500 hertz. Schakelt dan automatisch. Daarna hetzelfde tekst nog een keer, maar dan met Domino EX44. Ook op 1500 hertz. Vervolgens begint de SSTV. Die duurt zo'n 22 minuten. Na 10 minuten alleen SSTV komt er een datasignaal bij op 600 hertz. En uh, opnieuw MFSK 32. Hierin zitten een viertal elektronische schema's als experiment. Die kwamen via de korte golf erg goed door, moet ik zeggen. En er is een foto gemaakt door PE1RNL. Hoogstwaarschijnlijk werkt automatisch schakelen bij deze data niet. Je moet hem hier dus handmatig op MFSK32 zetten op 600 Hz. MFSK32 op 600 Hz. Het zou kunnen dat de codes dus niet werken door SSTV. Maar goed, er is tijd genoeg om dat van tevoren om dat in te schakelen vanwege de 10 minuten alleen SSTV die ervoor zitten. Je zou kunnen overwegen om RxID rechtsboven aantijdelijk uit te zetten om te voorkomen dat FLDigi naar de verkeerde frequentie en modus schakelt. De Slowscan Radio uitzending sluit volgens af met PSKR63 met 20 carriers. Om te beginnen hebben we nu het RSTB bulletin in de versie van TX Factor. Hallo, Mike Marsh hier, G1IAR, en welkom bij de TX News podcast van de GB2RS National News voor zondag, de 31st of maart 2019, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain en brought to you by TX Factor. De nieuws headlines van de RSGB this week join the Cricket World Cup Marathon, Fierce Storm delays Bouvet Island de Expedition, en 5 MHz Newsreader wanted. The RSGB is hosting an international amateur radio marathon event on the HF band to celebrate this year's Cricket World Cup, which is being held in England and Wales. The marathon will run from the 30th of May to the 14th of July. The RSGB Contest Club is looking for more volunteers to help coordinate the special event call signs. But now is also a great time to join the list of operators and sign up so that you'll be ready to operate. Full details are online at rsgb.org slash cricket. And if you want to get involved, drop an email to contestclub at rsgbcc.org. The much-anticipated Three Yankee Zero India Bouvet Island de-expedition has run into difficulties before having a chance to approach the island. Winds as high as 170 kilometers an hour, that's 105 miles an hour, caused damage to their ship, the MV Atlantic Tuna, which is now heading back to Cape Town for assessment and repairs. The team is stressing that this is a setback that represents a postponement and not a cancellation. Despite losing both antennas in the storm, Echo 51 Delta Oscar Mike Maritime Mobile is now back on the air and giving a taste of what signals from Bouvet could and will be like. A vacancy has arisen for a GB2RS newsreader on the 5 MHz team. Transmissions are on a rotor basis each Sunday afternoon at 1500 hours UTC on 5398.5 kHz USB. If you're interested, please contact the RSGB GB2RS News Service Manager, who is Ken Hatton, Golf 3 Victor Bravo, India. You can do it via email to gb2rs.manager at rsgb.org. Org.uk, but please note that a full license is required for 5 MHz operation. So, would you like to help shape the direction of the RSGB in the future? Well, why not stand as a director and become a board member? 
Details of what's involved can be found on pages 6 and 7 of the January 2019 Radcom. And for an informal discussion, please contact the chairman, Ian Shepard, go for Echo Victor Kilo, do it via email to g4evk at rsgb.org.uk by Monday the 15th of April at the latest. And a reminder, British summertime starts at 1am on Sunday morning, with the clocks jumping forward to 2am. Domestic clocks should then read one hour ahead of UTC. At the RSGB AGM on the 27th of April, there will be a fascinating talk on the world's first geostationary amateur radio satellite. That's SHALE-2, otherwise known as Quebec Oscar 100. Noel Matthews, Golf 8 Golf Tango Zulu, and Dave Crump, Golf 8 Golf Kilo Quebec, will explain the history of the project, its space launch in February 19, which no doubt you've heard about already, and the equipment you will actually need to work it, plus a demonstration of listening to the satellite via the internet. If you'd like some more details, check online at rsgb.org slash AGM. And while we're on the subject of the AGM, we'd like to remind RSGB members that they can vote online for the various resolutions. Details of these are in the April issue of Radcom and on the RSGB website at rsgb.org slash AGM 2019. Finally, in the headline news, advance notice now of a couple of major events in the coming months. This year's International Marconi Day will take place on the 27th of April. Stations are invited to help celebrate Marconi's birthday by operating from sites that are closely associated with him or from where he operated himself. For more information or to go and register your station, head over to gb4imd.co.uk. Separately, SOS Radio Week will take place throughout May. The events highlight the amazing work of the RNLI and honours the volunteer watchkeepers of the National Coast Watch Institution, that's the NCI. Individual amateurs and clubs are invited to register as official SOS Radio Week stations and you can head over online for more information to SOS sosradioweek.org.uk Rallies and events time now. Sunday the 31st, it's the first British Amateur Television Club Regional Convention and it takes place in Bristol. It'll be hosted by the North Bristol ARC at the SHE7 building, SHE7, uh, on Braemar Crescent in Filton, that's in Bristol, where the postcode is Bravo Sierra 7 Zero Tango Delta. Doors will be open from 10 in the morning right through to 4 and it'll be a full day of talks and demonstrations with a test bench available for visitors as projects. Further information is available online at forum.batc.org.uk or you can give Sean a call, Golf 8 Victor Papa Golf, on his landline, which is 01 225 873 098. Also on Sunday, the Penn Coed Radio Club tabletop sale takes place from 9.30 in the morning at Penn Coed Rugby Club, which is at the Verlands on Falindra Road in Penn Coed. Postcode there is Charlie Foxtrot 355 Papa Bravo. Uh, refreshments are available on site. If you want some more details and information, get in touch with Madeline Roberts on her mobile, which is 07738 375 Seven seven five. Next Saturday, the 6th of April, the GMDX convention takes place at the King Robert Hotel, Winds of Milton in Stirling. Registration starts at 10.30 in the morning with the GMDX AGM taking place shortly thereafter. The convention includes a series of excellent lectures on DX and technical subjects, followed by the famous DX dinner from 8pm. All the details are online at gmdx.org.uk. Next Sunday the 7th, it's the Cambridge Repeater Group Rally, which takes place at the Foxton Village Hall on the Hardman Road in Cambridge, where the postcode is Charlie Bravo 226 Romeo November. There is a talk-in station, car parking is free, doors open at 9.30 and the entrance will cost you £2. There's traders, bring and buy and an RSGB bookstall and a burger van has been booked for those who are hungry and need some on-site catering. If you want some more information, get in touch with Lawrence Mike Zero, Lima Charlie Mike on his mobile, which is 07941 972 724, or you can head over to the website at cambridgerepeaters.net. Also next Sunday, it's the 35th Yeovil ARC QRP convention, and it takes place at Digby Hall in Sherbourne, which is in Dorset, where the postcode would be 
DT93AA. Doors open at 9:30 a.m. and admission is three pounds. No dogs can be admitted except for guide dogs, and the event is supported by the RSGB, Rafars, and by Lara. And there'll be club stands as well as new and second-hand stalls. Two talks are scheduled: a remarkable, very young lady radio amateur and an introduction of mag loops. Refreshments are available on site, and Bob Harris, Golf 8, Uniform Echo Delta, has got all the information. If you need some more, you can do it via email to wjh069 at gmail.com, or head over to the Yeovil ARC website at yeovil-arc.com. Now, advance notice that the National Museum of Computing at Bletchley Park will be holding its first ever electro jumble on Sunday, the 21st of April. April. Over the years, they've accumulated many bits and pieces that are now surplus to requirements. Items for sale will include test equipment, military items, domestic radios, telecommunication equipment and vintage components. All the details can be found online at tnmoc.com. Dot org. And a reminder now to get your event into Radcom, onto GB2RS and on the RSGB website. Please send your details in as early as you possibly can via email to radcom at rsgb.org.uk. And we need to know about four months in advance for the Radcom magazine. <laughs> Moving on to the DX News now, which comes from 425 DX News and other sources. Dagmar, Delta Mike 7, Papa Quebec, slash Echo 51, November Papa Quebec, and Rainer, Delta Lima 1, Alpha Uniform Zulu, slash Echo 51, Alpha Uniform Zulu, will be on the air, holiday styly from Rarotonga, which is IOTA reference Oscar Charlie 013, in the South Cook Islands from the 2nd to the 11th of April, and they'll be operating CW only. Darek, Sierra Pampa 3 Delta X-Ray will be active as 8 Quebec 7 Delta Mike from Lacan Fin Olhu Island in the Maldives, which is Alpha Sierra 013. He'll be doing that from the 1st to the 7th of April and activities will be on 20, 17, 15, 12 and 10 metres. SSB and FTA are the modes and you can QSL via Sierra Pampa 3 Delta X-Ray. Celebrating the 40th anniversary of the signing of the Norfolk Island Act, the Victor India 9 November India team of Victor Kilo 3 Quebec Bravo, Victor Kilo 3 Hotel Juliet, Victor Kilo 2 Papa November and Victor Kilo 3 Bravo Delta X-Ray will be active from Norfolk Island, which is Oscar Charlie 005, from the 1st to the 14th of April. They'll be on the air on 160 right through to 17 metres using FT8 CW and SSB and if you get a contact QSL via Victor Kilo 4 Foxtrot Whiskey. Finally for now Harald Delta Foxtrot 2 Whiskey Oscar will be on the air again as X-Ray Tango 2 Alpha Whiskey from Burkino Faso from the 7th to the 26th of April. It will be operating on 160 to 10 metres using CW, SSB and digital modes and QSL via Mike Zero Oscar X-Ray Oscar Direct OQRS. Next up, the special events news. The Windmill Amateur Radio DX Group will be putting Golf Bravo 1 Romeo Yankee on the air on the 6th and the 7th of April. Operating from RAF Ramsbury near Marlborough in Wiltshire, they are taking part in the airfields on the air day. Many other stations are expected to take part in the event and you'll find all the information online at rafars.org slash rafaota. Pontefract and District ARS will operate Golf Bravo for Sierra Lima to mark the visit of cosmonaut Gennady Padalka. He'll give a talk in Pontefract on the 6th of April and the special event station will be on the air for 28 days around this date. Gennady Padalka has spent a record 879 cumulative days in space over five missions from 1985 to 2015. More information on the talk for which tickets are still available is up online at space-lectures.com. Now, if you've got any special event details, you've got to get them in to us via email. Do that to radcom at rsgb.org.uk as early as you can for free publicity on GB2RS in Radcom and online. And remember that UK stations with a special event call sign must be open to the public so our free publicity can make your efforts more widely known.
Next up, it's contest news, and this weekend sees the CQWW WPX SSB contest. It started at 0 hundred hours UTC on Saturday, and it ends at 23.59 UTC on Sunday. The SSB-only event uses all the contest bands from 1.8 to 28 MHz, and the exchange's signal report and serial number. On Monday, it's the RSGB's 80 meter CW Club Championships, running from 1900 to 2030 on the 3.5 megahertz band only. The exchange is signal report and serial number. Two meters is busy on Tuesday from 1800 to 1855 UTC. It's the 144 megahertz MGMAC using machine generated modes. The exchange is signal report, serial number, and your four character locator. Also from 1800 to 1855 it's the 144 megahertz fmac which uses fm only exchanging signal report serial number and locator from 1900 to 2130 it's the 144 megahertz uk ac all modes where the exchange is the same signal report serial number and locator Wednesday sees the UK EICC 80 metres contest running from 1900 to 2000 UTC using SSB only on the 3.5 MHz band. The exchange is your four character locator. The 24 hour SPDX contest runs 1500 UTC next Saturday using CW or SSB on the 1.8 to 28 MHz contest bands. The exchange is signal report and serial number, and SP stations, Sierra Pappas, send their province code. Next Sunday, the RSGB Rolo HF Championship event takes place, starting at 19.30 and ending at 20.30 UTC. The SSB contest uses the 80-metre band only. The exchange is signal report plus the locator you received. Also next Sunday, the first 70 MHz contest runs 0900 to 1200 UTC using all modes on the 4 meter band. Signal report, serial number and locator will make up your exchange. Finally, in the headline news, it is the radio propagation report now compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO on Friday, the 29th of March. Last week, the predicted increased KP index from a coronal hall actually didn't mount to much. The coronal mass ejection from the sun a few days earlier wasn't quite earth-facing, so we kind of dodged a bullet. Other than that, conditions have been quite settled, with a maximum KP index of 3, caused by an enhanced solar wind. This was due to a co-rotating interaction region, otherwise known as a CIR, on the Sun, followed by the onset of an isolated negative polarity coronal hole high-speed stream. Elevated solar wind conditions are expected to continue until Friday the 29th of March, before declining. The sun has remained spotless after sunspot group number 2736 left a visible disk and it looks set to continue as we head into April. NOAA has the sun remaining settled with a solar flux index at 70 and the KP index sitting around about 2 or 3. That means reasonable radio conditions just in time for the CQ SSB WPX contest this weekend. Don't forget, if you don't like contesting, there's always the WARC bands, although 17 metres may struggle to open at times. Moving on to the VHF and upwards propagation news now, it looks like we're going to continue into next week with high pressure dominating much of the country, especially southwestern areas. This should continue to provide some good tropo, but slowly becoming less noticeable as the week progresses. Various models show low pressure close to northern Scotland at times, so this region is less likely to benefit from any tropo. There's a possibility of a few sharp showers too, particularly at the end of next week, it is April after all, and these can be good for rain scatter propagation on the gigahertz bands. The moon is at apogee on Sunday, its furthest point from the Earth, so EME path losses will start to fall. Declination is negative and it goes positive again on Friday, so we'll see moon windows lengthening with rising moon elevations and decreasing path losses. There's still a wait before we see the return of sporadic E, so maybe it's a good time now to work on your antenna systems for when it all restarts back up again. Remember that sporadic E can be a great opportunity for VHFers to improve 
improve their more skills, give your brain a bit of a workout while the rest of the world is staring at computer screens and just clicking a mouse. Finally, there's always plenty of DX opportunities available on the satellites. And of course, we have our marvellous geostationary Quebec Oscar 100 SL2 on the air and looking down on us 24-7. So there are still the low orbit birds to challenge you all the time. That's the news from the propagation team this week. And that's it. That is your GB2RS national news for the UK from around the world this week. Regional GB2RS news is on the air over the weekend. If you don't know who's doing it, all you've got to do is track down your local newsreader who's doing it nearest to you. We've made it easy for you. You can do that by heading over to the TX Factor homepage at txfactor.co.uk, where if you click on the GB2RS News tab at the top of the homepage, you can download yourself an up-to-date PDF of all the broadcasters and what time they are on the air. I'm Mike Marsh, G1IAR, reporting with the TX News weekly podcast of GB2RS. Thanks for listening. We will see you back here next week. Enjoy the fruits of British summertime as we head into BST from the early hours of Sunday morning. And we'll see you back here next weekend with the very latest update of GB2RS News. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x, xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshop.nl. 70 mhzshop.nl. This is Slow Scan Radio. Good afternoon, this is Peter John. 
We bring you experiments with slow scan TV images, mostly photos and also several kinds of data transmission using FL Digi. We have a show sending some data and mostly SSTV images. The images can be received with your normal radio. The easiest way is to use a smartphone holding it simply close to the receiver speaker. You will need an app like Robot36 for Android or CQ SSTV for iOS then. There are also good programs for PC. More info about that you can find on our website www.slowscanradio.com www.slowscanradio.com For the data preferably use FL Digi, although other programs most probably will work as well.
Slow Scan Radio is copyright 2018, excluding rights of featured items and any music. Website is www.slowscanradio.com. Mail address is x-ray at x-ray delta victor dot mike echo.